Hey guys, what's up? So as I am kind of in my workflows right now, I just really thought about, oh, well, maybe I can show them this because it took me a while to kind of figure out myself and do a tons of research, not a whole tons, but let me be honest, some of YouTube's videos out there didn't really get straight to the point. So I thought I want to help you out. Anyway, if you want to learn how to sketch from Procreate on your iPad, be able to export that onto your illustrator and kind of still edit and work onto illustrator kind of like having your ipad as your um what's that thing called your sketch pad i'm sorry i can't have it in top of my head right now i was gonna buy one but i didn't and in the next video i'll explain to you why i didn't but um yeah let's get straight to the video i hope you guys enjoy okay so i have my ipad open Sorry, it's just what I'm working on. Let's go to like an old design that I'm... Let's do this. Okay, so I have like this sketch right here, right? I kind of hand sketch everything because I kind of like that hand sketch feel onto my design and so forth. Then, I don't know if you can see, you want to hit this icon right here. It kind of looks like a setting. Hit this and you want to choose TIFF. I'm going to export in, um, choose Adobe Capture, so I must, so you, you might want to have this install onto your iPad as well, so do Adobe Capture, and you want to do Post, okay, so in this selection, you can do Material, Type, Square, Color, Looks, I'll run through a quick one of these. Material, this is kind of weird. I know I'm not going to be using it. I think it's pretty cool. It's 3D. If you work on some sort of sculpture, you can kind of see what's going on there. Type is um, you can kind of do a like a selection if you hit that, it kind of select all of this, you know, if that make any sense it kind of select that one selection that you just did but we don't want to do that so I usually just choose shapes in all of my um, export drawing I did shape but um, let's say color if your sketch that you export out to so Adobe capture has color it will then pick out all the colors that you have and crop out into palettes for you this is really handy when you are working in a design that have color counts like color limited but let's we don't want to worry about that right now and patterns you can make all kind of patterns you can kind of play with all these options right here and make yourself super super cool patterns um that's not what i want to do or you can do brush you can choose this and once you hit okay it will come out with like let's just try that come out with all different kind of brush you see all these little tiny circles all kind of different kind of brush it's really really cool you can even make trimming trim line my focus in apparel design so this is just gonna be like i'm thinking of trim lines for like a dress or you know something anyway so we go back and what i usually would just choose is shape so okay let's go back to shape and this is artwork so you can usually if i have like a huge canvas that i export to this i'll choose crop and i'll kind of cropped out anything that you know anything that i don't want like uh, edges you know and honestly if you don't choose crop and you don't you're kind of in a hurry you don't even have to do anything when you export this out you'll see like when it export to illustrator it will automatically kind of cropped out for you and sometimes it does seems like it's cropping out the very edges of your drawings but trust me this thing is very very smart it knows what it's doing so if my hand drawn sketch kind of like iffy i choose smooth but a lot of time i find that it smooths out and it kind of like blends in with each other if you see that right there it blends in a little bit too much it kind of look like a blobs then i just go back into refine and i don't do smooth but if you do choose want to do smooth you can do smooth safe in this case i just want to do refine 
these buttons you can paint anything else you can add on to any painting you know like you can fill all these little thing in like if i wanted to fill this in um you can even do that just basically in addition to what you already had i'm going to click cancel so let's just do safe okay so now we're on the save screen you see this little button right here now you can click save but um you can even click this and it will export out or uh, when i first figure out this way i usually click save and it saves your all of your panel right here and then to go back to that little arrow you um, can click on to this three little uh, dots right here and you have a lot of options you can even save to your camera you can open it in, you can export this to an image, to a SVG, PFD, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna click that one more time and I'm gonna open this in Illustrator. Now, if you are want to open this in Illustrator, you want to make sure that you're in the same Wi-Fi. This is crucial because if you are not in on the same the Wi-Fi, it will not it will not export this to you in any way. This is what is exported out, and what you have is a vector image. This vector image you can recolor. Let's say that this is black. Let's say if this is in black right now, you wanted to change it into green. You can press green. Voila, it is green. You know, and. You can really, um, I don't know, just play around with it. You can move it if, and, you know, let me move it to the side. You move it to the side, you can really see it has absolutely no background. It is beautiful. It has all the vector. If you really want to change, if you want to drag anything out, you can just double click on it. You see all these dots? Dots expand this make this bigger make this lighter whatever it is you need to do and um honestly once you really learn this trick you can make line go back to line but the only thing i will warn you is if if let's say that you have this line right here and you just want to have this line in this like black and all these little lines you want them in yellow you know, there's no way that you are doing that unless on Procreate, unless on Procreate, you did not draw these lines touching each other. So if you think that by the time that you transfer to illustration and you did not, you don't want them to be linked up and you might, you, you think that you might want them into you know different color of each other then maybe have like a gap here and then once you move it into illustration you can then uh merge them together or however you just move, move them closer that's what i mean so yeah do so you see all these lines because they are connected because i drew them this way and i did not have them kind of like a gap between them you see these these is not changed because i had like a like a space between them so that's just like a little fyi i hope this video helped you um let me know if you want to see anything else so yeah have a good weekend bye